start with our plants. We wanna make sure that we're not putting them like too close together or like right on top of each other. We're gonna put one here and one here. You see how they kind of like balance each other? So next we're gonna move into our storage category, which we're gonna put these also on different shelves. Notice how these two are both circles. They look too similar next to each other. So I'm gonna instead pair this down here with this square so that it kind of gives a little bit of a visual difference. Then we're gonna move into our frames because these are gonna fill bigger spaces. So on this shelf, we're obviously needing something. Because these are both square, I'm not gonna put this here. Instead, I'm gonna put it over here. How we have rectangle, 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 a circle, circle. The last step is to just fill in the gaps with your decorative pieces. So. I've got some fabric and texture on these two, so I'm gonna add these books. Maybe face them out just so I have a little bit of warmth with the pages. Paired with something circle, so now we've got our circle, circle, circle. This is kind of missing something. So we could do something like this, that's short, that kind of fills that space, or we could do something like this, right on top of there to kind of fill that. Then I'm gonna add 